welcome everyone in our last class we have observed different financial techniques namely simple payback period and after net present value internal rate of return okay likewise we have observed lots of financial techniques which is quite essential in order to decide whether to implement particular energy saving opportunities in our regular task or not okay so now in today's session i would like to start with the topic called risk and the sensitivity analysis so let's proceed with our today's lecture okay so here today's topic is risk and sensitive analysis so before going toward the brief explanation about the risk and the sensitivity analysis i would like to describe risk okay what do you mean by risk so you can say risk is nothing but chance of making loss or damage to the project okay is known as risk okay now what happens basically generally when we are selecting any project or any opportunities okay so before the implementation of those opportunity it should require to make certain assumptions okay because the prediction of the future is dependent on the assumption for example if i am doing this then i will get this reward okay like like us lots of assumptions are there in order to describe the future of the project or you can say to predict the future okay so sometimes what happens that the assumption that we have made initially is in the favor of is in the favor of project okay but later on because of the dilution of the situation sometimes this type of assumptions leads toward the failure okay so before selecting any project okay we need to make assumption okay and assumptions are the foundations which leads toward the succeed or the failure okay so critical evaluation of those assumption must require and to evaluate assumption we have one technique called sensitivity analysis okay so i think now it's clear to all what do you mean by risk and the sensitivity analysis so you can say risk is nothing but chance of making a loss or damage to the project while the sensitivity analysis is the tactics by which we are able to evaluate the risk okay clear or in another word you can say the sensitivity analysis is nothing but what if analysis okay clear what happen if i am doing this okay what happen to my spi if i am not learning properly okay what happens to my future if i am not preparing well for the gate exam likewise okay there are lots of question that we need to ask ourselves in order to identify our success or you can say failure in upcoming year in the similar way this concept is also applicable in the industries whenever we are deciding to implement any opportunities okay so before the implementation of the opportunity we need to follow the two tasks first one we need to identify the return on the investment and how to find return on the investment okay so for that we have lots of techniques financial techniques that we have already discussed in our previous session okay and then second step that we need to follow is to carry out risk and the sensitivity analysis okay and again one thing when we start any venture okay at that time there are lots of the factor that we need to consider whenever we are selecting any opportunities or when we are made any assumption because those factors are directly influenced by the uh, strategies or you can say those factors are directly affect the selected assumption okay clear so now i would like to discuss those factors so basically the factors are divided into two category the macro factors and the micro factors so you can say the macro factors are the factors which is not in our hand okay macro factors are the factors which is not in our hand okay we don't have any kind of control over those factor okay for example those factors you can say the government taxation policy okay then the fuel price decided by the government 
okay then after change in interest rate then after technological change and some of the rules and regulations that government made for the environment like carbon emission policy and all those factors are such factors which is not in our control okay we need to follow those factors so whenever we made any assumption at that time we need to keep those factor in our mind okay so here you can see there are lots of assumption listed on the screen so on the on the other hand we have micro factors micro factors are the factors which we can completely control for example company policy okay then after coordination dif between different department for example design and the manufacturing okay likewise there are lots of micro factors that we can control in order to lead our organization toward the energy economic side okay lead toward lead our organization toward the energy economy okay so it is all about the macro and micro factor and risk and sensitive analysis okay now next i would like to start with the financial option but obviously we have started with the different financial techniques then we observe the risk and the sensitive analysis now turns comes to discuss the financial need whenever we start any industry firm or venture at that time we have a three type of financial need first one long term financial need then after medium term financial need and the short term financial need so you can say the long term financial needs are generally for the period of 5 to 10 years okay and it's generally for the purchase of the equipment purchase of the land okay then after creating the infrastructure for the industries okay so long term financial need are sustained for 5 to 10 years okay for the different reason that i have mentioned you okay now the second one is the medium term financial need so you can say the medium term financial need is generally sustained for you can say 2 to 3 year okay basically there are lots of factor that result into the medium term financial need and those factors are first one training toward the employee okay but always when we hire any employee at that time it's our first task to train that employee okay then after for the maintenance purpose okay what happens is that if, let's say for the sake of simplicity i will give you one example when we purchase car but obvious but obvious we require maintenance of the car two times within a year okay so those type of the cost okay are included in medium term financial need and then third one is a short term financial need short term financial needs are just for let's say you can say for one or two month okay sometimes uh, what happens is that in the company there are the unexpected cost because of the sudden failure or sudden damage of the machine part okay so short term financial need is generally sustained for you can say one to two month only so here we have financial need okay which is basically categorized in three category long term medium term and the short term now it's clear to all what do you mean by long term financial need okay for how many long time it's sustained likewise for all three category okay here you get some basic kind okay now the question is that uh, so how to get the finance for the long term financial need as well as for the medium term financial need as well as so for the short term financial need okay so to discuss this thing here we have a next topic okay that is basically the financial option so here in this diagram you can say Uh, we have lots of financial option okay that is basically categorized on uh, various aspects first one is uh, on the basis of the period okay that is long term period medium term period and the short term period then the second one is on the basis of the ownership ownership fund based financial need and borrow type of fund okay then after third one is uh, on the basis of the source of generation okay in which we have we have again two category internal source and the external source okay so likewise we have lots of the financial source category okay so it is all about the today's session thank you